My son, chronic pancreatitis is a complicated disease process. Tell me about how you describe that disease process to families. Indeed, it is a complex disease process and we don't um, really understand fully how it happens, but it is thought mostly to happen after a child had repeated attacks that could lead to some sort of irreversible damage to the pancreas, or if you may call it scarring, um, which is the, the medical term is fibrosis. So when the inflammation happens repeatedly, then the organ cannot recover and leaves that kind of um, chronic changes that make the children have a certain type of pain. It is more of a chronic pain, if I may say. And on diagnostic testing for us as clinicians makes it very challenging to see how advanced and how early or advanced um, chronic pancreatitis they have. There are different categories even within the chronic pancreatitis um, to group the patients. Can you predict which patients that have had an acute episode will then head down to chronic pancreatitis? This is the future of what we're doing work-wise, where we are recognizing now that acute pancreatitis not only could happen in kids, um, but also could lead to chronic pancreatitis. So there are multiple studies ongoing to help really find out who are at highest risk to have recurrent pancreatitis and who are at higher risk to have chronic pancreatitis with its own um, kind of clinical um, syndromes with it because some chronic pancreatitis would lead to lose exocrine function, which is the digestive enzymes capability of the pancreas to make those enzymes. And some chronic pancreatitis cases might affect the um, hormonal aspects of what the pancreas does in terms of making enough insulin and help prevent diabetes. And how fast does this occur? How fast does this transition from acute pancreatitis to chronic pancreatitis occur? Or is it variable? It is variable and it depends really on most likely the genetic makeup of what the kids have as risk factors because we know now that there are multiple genes that are responsible for this and it could be even interaction of different genes in the same patient. So the future for all the researchers in science is to find out what gene makeup does the patient have or what combinations of genes could lead to different rates of progression to chronic pancreatitis. And that is going to be very important for not only predictability, but hopefully even to create therapies at certain rates. Yeah, I think it's really important to maintain hope with these families, to reassure them that there is work being done uh, because it is such a complex disease process and really um, leads to uh, long-term health issues.